I have no idea why I'm reading. I'm have my reading glasses on because I'm looking through this uh, book. Well, it's a Bob Marley portrait of a legend. Hey, Nyla. Oh boy, you know what this means? Actually, we're in blue light right now, and that means Nyla wants to go out. Well, we wake up in the morning. She's coming because we got to go out for a morning walk. You got to wait. I'm doing something. I'm talking to some people. You know, just chill. You got Nyla's got a gray beard, man. I ain't seen the dog in like two years. I mean, it's like four to maybe three, 14 years, whatever. Dog then got all. Anyway, this is the 75th. I don't know why I'm advertising this book. Anyway, it's down here. And it's a picture book. And when they do the interviews, they have to, it's like a big type like that. So I don't need glasses. But then I had a choice, actually. I have this book. Which, oh, I said, oh, 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 interview. Do you, do you ever hear much music, though? Did you have much of an effect that, uh, did that, did you hear very much music here, though? Uh, did that have much of an effect on you? Oh, Marlene answered, yeah, music all the while, the time there. Marvin Gaye just come with some music and some other people. Stevie Wonder then. First thing I do is Marvin Gaye. Make sure, Look, I'm busy. Chill. Wait. <laughs> what I usually do, I get, I'm going to have to cut this short. But in fact, this book, oh, this is a picture book. I might or may not read this. Got some old pictures of some cards and stuff like that. But the, the, I'm propping this up on another book here. What I used to do when I traveled, I, I would find a, a, I guess you would call it a historic novel of the place I was going to. Like Mexico, I go, someone says the Aztecs or something like that, to go to wherever, South Africa, the Covenant, you know, whatever. Find some histor big historical book. Right? This here, I found this one down here. Lost Treasures of St. Louis. Right, by Cameron Collins, or forward by whoever. Okay, so she, oh, bowling, Red Bird Lanes, bowling. Back in the day, ain't no black people in this picture. Bowling. <laughs> Let's go a few pages here. Let's skip around here. I gotta take my out. Movie theaters and drive-ins. Drive-ins. Remember drive-ins? I thought they'd bring them back during COVID or whatever have you. I sort of like driving. Sort of. I won't tell you what happened to it. I was driving in Ohio. I know with this, this, this young lady and we were driving this or whatever. See, drive-ins. Well, I can't tell you nothing about that. Drive-ins. Kings Island Theater. Shady Oak Theater. Markets and delis. Things have changed. National spinach in a can. How was that? Uh, Zephyr. s and H stamps. Remember s and H green stamps? s and H green stamps. You all know nothing about that? Oh, man. Stamps. I guess that comes out of that whole uh, thing that happened in World War II, the beginning of World War II with the, the money or something like that, where they, they was used. They have ration cards, like stamps. You give out stamps to get the merchandise. Like you get milk and your well, flour and all the rest of them use stamps and I guess after that because this is like the 50s I suppose then they started using well as a um, as an incentive to you know SH. About my grandmother used to get Raleigh's smoke Raleigh cigarettes so Raleigh's had stamps in them that was that was it too. on the air television on the air look at this they got television on the air right but I tell you this is a radio mic <laughs> that's a radio microphone man I can say, I know back in the day they didn't have them today. TV, whatever it is. Whoever Charlotte Peters is, the Wranglers Club, Lincoln Trust, now we're in an architecture building. Uh, so I just went to schools and churches. I'm missing something here. Beer, booze. Josh Stepp is here. Dairy, ice cream. Look, look at the ice cream truck. Remember the ice cream truck? Obviously, it's like. What do you call it? St. Louis in the bygone days. <laughs> well, let's put it there. They had them. When I say had them, black people were here, but they didn't make this book. I'm, I'm actually looking for black people in this book. I ain't find them. So anyway, uh, so blue, let me know what they got an index here. Let me see if they say Negroes. Let me look up index. 
index. Let me put first I look. Oh here, African American St. Louis. Page seventy nine and eighty three and ninety five. Seventy nine, eighty three. Let me see page seventy nine. Seventy nine, come on, seventy nine. Yeah, it don't look like no black people here. 83. 83. 83. <laughs> this is where they have an 83 for black people, right? I, I don't even know if it's a black hand, right? Let me see. Uh, did I say 95? Whatever it was, 90 something. 90. Let's see. That's a theater. There's 95. Melvin Theater. Oh, Booker T. Washington Theater. Oh, man. Hey, hold on, man. I got to keep on going. Right, let me go back to this thing here. They say black people. I ain't seen one black image. African American. At least this was written. Some You think it was written in a time when they started using African American. So, how come I can't find African American anymore? Index. African American St. Louis. 95, 151. I'm going to keep on going. What ain't that many? 151. Page 151. Come on, 151. 151. Oh. Okay, a radio guy. Right down there. Look at that. They got a black guy there. Let me see who this is, right? Hold on. Uh, KXLW, uh, 1320 AM. For many radio listeners, uh, K W L K X L W. Oh, by the way, on one side of the Mississippi, uh, the uh, your your radio starts with a K. The other side starts with a W or something like that. Uh, anyway, uh, okay, was a favorite station in St. Louis for great jazz and R and B. Located at thirteen twenty on the AM dial, uh, K X L W was the home of Jesse Spider Burks. One of the first African American disc, disc jockeys in St. Louis, St. Louis Spiders. Nickname was given him by the legendary Nat King Cole. Nat King Cole, nature boy himself. Okay, sorry. Who had the first, uh, you know, the first TV black person on TV, um, you know, series or whatever it is. But the nickname didn't come from music. It came from seeing Burks play on a basketball court. Other personalities that provided great music on uh, K. XLW included Roscoe McC McCrary, uh, Leon Harris, and Lou. <coughs> excuse me, Lou Father Times are down here in the basement. Whatever. No, I'm very clear. Wow. Oh, a little history there. I should stop there. Let me hedge my bets. Let me stop there and let you all go because I got I to gotta take the doggy out. You know, it's Blue Light. Blue Light Brigade, you walking with me? Hey, man, no matter where we are in the world, it's Blue Light. We're supposed to be up. Adam, I did my. Excuse me. <coughs> I know it's down in the basement. I'm not getting a cold nothing like that. But, uh, you know, I did my floor exercises, right? And now I'm going to take the doggy out. But that's the way it goes. And so uh, I got to go. I being me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect.